So there you go. <laughs> Random thing for you. Be on it. Um, um, do you give me like two minutes? No. I got to uh, just, just hold the air for me for two minutes. I'm holding nothing. Hey, kids, <laughs> it is the 3rd of June. That means in less than 15 days, personality isn't permanent. My friend of the show, Dr. Benjamin Hardy, will be available to the public June 16th. This is an absolutely life-changing book. Um, it was an amazing interview we had with him. A lot of fun, really interesting, fun, intelligent guy. You can look up his work on medium.com. Uh, some just amazing writing. The guy's a great doctor, great writer, great dude. Uh, if you are a podcaster, he is looking to be a guest. You can get in touch with him at benjaminhardy.schedule, I believe, or schedule. No, I'm, yeah, I think that's what it is. I'll, I'll throw something up on our website to confirm. Um, but this book is absolutely amazing. I found it life changing. And uh, I want everybody to run out and buy a copy on June 16th. Um, it really will change your life. And it's uh, do that. Go do that. Um, also want to say hi to friend of the show, Russell Nolte. Uh, he is the brains behind Wannabe Press, a great indie uh, publishing house with some great titles to its credit. He also has a resource site for writers. It's called thecompletecreative.com, and it's an awesome, awesome free uh, site for writers just looking for help in uh, all kinds of writing areas. So check him out, russellnolte.com, thecompletecreative.com. Uh, get your write on. Uh, it's a good time to do it, too. Um, who else? I'll say hi to our very good friend, Adrian DeBarros. Uh, check him out and his nerdy girls on Instagram, Facebook, all the usual suspects. Great rapper, great guy, funny dude. And always a pleasure to talk to. We had him on a horrible episode of the show just recently where just plagued by problems. But in his usual fashion, he was just cool as a cucumber and played it off like it was no big deal. Um, very, very awesome guy. Yeah, we he's have... a great guy. Oh, are you back? Yep. <laughs> All right. So that's it. That's I'll stop there for now. Do that. And then send me an email at GwynethPaltrowsVagina at gmail.com. And I'll send you a pen and a postcard and maybe, maybe a personalized T-shirt. But you will always, everyone who contacts the show will get the pen, the postcard. And if I like what you write enough... The authentic Eric and Gord certificate of awesomeness. <laughs> Those don't just get given away. I don't uh, even have one. No, no, you don't. No. <laughs> and I wouldn't go waiting by the mailbox for that either. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is also now, because we have the means to do it, there could be some custom made t shirts available to you guys if you want a limited edition Eric and Gord t shirt. <laughs> I might have a couple. So stay tuned in the next episode or two for more details on that. They are some damn good t-shirts, though. I'm telling you, handcrafted. <laughs> and that doesn't mean I just wrote on them with a marker. It means... <laughs> I was going to say, that's, that was my first thought. <laughs> These are actually well done. We do that now. We make our own merch until I can afford a factory in India. <laughs> which you'll have to replace in 12 months anyway totally worth it <laughs> actually i could probably buy a factory in india for what i spend on these shirts <laughs> you know what you're probably fucking right wouldn't surprise me oh by the way that circle the circles in the field by the way germany did that first what the, the putting the, a, putting for the social social distancing circles in a field? Oh, I just assumed German fields had that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that they would they did that first. Absolutely, <laughs> I think Germans just walk around wearing hula hoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get away. This my, this my don't touch me hoop. Actually, I never <laughs> thought of hula hoop. That'd be great. I should have done that at work. I probably could have got away with it. There was a guy when this whole thing started in the UK that did that, showing that social distancing doesn't work because this is what it would look like. And he walked around this 
hula hoop around him that was fixated, so it gave three feet on either side, so it gave him a total of six feet. And why did that prove that social distancing didn't work? Because he couldn't walk down the street without slamming into everybody. <laughs> oh, that's that's how social distancing is supposed to be. <laughs> if, you, if you're slamming into people, you're not far enough away. <laughs> it does work if you follow the goddamn rules. Well, and I don't. Can't. I don't follow any of the rules. We got arrows on the floors at work telling you which way to go, and I just bitch that the arrows are going the wrong way every time. <laughs> That's how I feel every time I go to the grocery store. <laughs> you walk down, I'm like, oh, damn it. I'm not, well, fuck this. I'm not. I just, what I do is I just turn around and walk down that aisle backwards. And then we just, <laughs> we're, we're renovating. So half our store doesn't have the arrows. And my, nobody that gets paid more than me found it funny when I just stood there for 10 minutes until someone tried to, someone was finally like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know where to go. There's no <laughs> arrows. <laughs> Oh, I bet I they love that. <laughs> I don't want to be wrong. This whole place could get COVID. <laughs> be a big COVID mess until we get some arrows on this floor. God damn it. <laughs> I am never getting a promotion. No. Um, <laughs> Say goodbye okay. to that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You could offer me a promotion and I'll take none of it. Yeah, that's a code. Um... <laughs> Our little uh, show, I don't know what to do, but we're, we're going to have to change the uh, tone of the show right away here. Get back to uh, the way it used to be a little bit. And I think a lot of that is just get away from these mainstream news stories and I'll start fishing out some stuff. We used to never talk. We used to talk about shit that wasn't in the news and I'm bored with the shit that is the news. I'd, I'm not insulting George Floyd or anything. I'm just saying like there's so much bullshit and it's just so negative. Well, we used um, to talk about our day-to-day -day lives. Well, now that we're both working for the most part full-time, or now that we're on our house locked, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, we don't is, do anything. <laughs> there, is, there is a little bit less to talk about. <laughs> I'm going to have to go out and create more. <laughs> I've got a little bit more technology at my disposal, and I'm in a town that I don't care about. So I could go fuck some shit up for the summer and make a funny show. Oh, I fully support that. Uh, I need a better camera, though. I, that's one thing I don't have is a good digital camera. I've got one coming from Wish.com. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> I ordered it in, I don't know, 94, something like I, that. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ordered that ten years before the company existed. <laughs> uh, they're they're hilarious too because everything I've ever ordered from them, they're like, "Oh, it's on its way. Expected arrival date is April nineteenth." Okay, uh, <laughs> do you not check these things before you send them to? Like, it's June. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's on its way. It's expected in April. Well, thank you. Well, it, <laughs> in all fairness, it doesn't say a year. <laughs> that's the difference there uh, but yeah we'll change it up a little bit guys I know it's gotten a little bit weird um, that is a lot of it is my fault for being I, I can't call it lazy but just uh, my priorities have been askew I've been all worried about paying rent and eating and shit which uh, brings down my ability to sit and be on this show 23 hours a day like I used to Um, so the quality of research, and this isn't a shot at Gord by any means. I'm just saying, like, the, my input has been less than stellar lately. Except that I've been making you guys a lot of cool stuff. Pens and shirts and postcards and shit that you don't you, write before. You've been extremely busy with everything else. There's no denying. I, hey, my credit score has gone up three points. That ain't from fucking around. <laughs> I swear, I swear, mine's gone down ten points. I haven't done anything. <laughs> yeah, they just take them from you and give them to me. So at least yeah. one of us is always down. <laughs> that is uh, Tim Cook from Apple paying me back. He's like, <laughs> one of you will always suffer. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just how it works. Can't have both of you guys happy. The fuck. There's just this group of fucking anti-vaxxing vegans out there just punishing us. <laughs> Damn it, why weren't we nicer to them? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, we'll do good. You know, for uh for uh 
for a couple of guys who say we got nothing to talk about, we do a cool 100 minutes every night. So we have stuff to talk about. Uh, but it would be better if you guys wanted to talk to us. If you're looking to be a guest on a show, get in touch with us on the Facebook or the Twitter or the Instagram or the Tumblr or the LinkedIn or uh, what else do I got? I got them all. You can reach out. Eric and Gord is usually what you look up there. Or Eric, or Gord, or both. Uh, speaking of which, I have another Eric and Gord I want to introduce you guys all to. It's been a long-ass time since I've done that. We'll do that tomorrow night. Um, Absolutely. And yeah, anyway, point of what I'm saying. Please start participating a little bit. We don't have a hell of a lot to talk about, but we would if you guys wanted to be a part of it. Uh, we did say we were going to do a show with our buddy and producer friend, Adrian. Uh, that should be coming up right away whenever he has time. This guy, you guys all know Adrian. He's been on the show a few times now. He will like get in touch with the show and be like, can I be on? I really want to be on. And we'll be like, yeah, we're going on at eight. He's like, I can't do eight. And then we won't <laughs> hear from him for six months. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it happens like three times a week. Nah, yeah. Not that much, but can, can I well. be on your show? Yeah, we're on from seven till nine. I can't do seven to nine. And they don't throw out some, can you do 2 a.m.? No. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> what days do you guys do the show? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Shit. I was hoping for Sunday. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly seems like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We can literally have you on the show any day of any week except for Saturday at noon. God damn it, that's all I ever want. That's the only time I wanted. Just forget the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab something. Uh, that's and, that, that's, and that's I'm, noon my time, right? If it was noon Gord's time, then I could do it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other one. Uh, never has a cause. What time? Is that central time? No, that none of us are in central time. What are you talking about? <laughs> What time zone are you? The same as you. <laughs> yeah, I got to go. That doesn't sound anything like Adrian. I don't know why that would be my Adrian impersonation, but there it is. <laughs> Couldn't possibly sound less like him. <laughs> Someday when I see him, he's going to hurt me very, very badly. Um, But yeah, we'll get him on. And then somebody else, whoever else you want to be on, we're wide open. I uh, also look for us on blog talk radio. Uh, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to try to figure out a way to do both at the same time uh, so that I can be doing that. And this, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I just broke my computer, but we'll figure it out. I don't know if I have the footage of that, but I'll put it up one day. You guys can listen to that. That's spectacular. You can hear me. I should put a, like a compilation episode together of me doing shit. Like the, the one where I get bear sprayed and then me breaking the computer. <laughs> The egg thrown at you. The egg, me getting egged. There's been a lot of me getting stuff on this show. Uh, that'd hmm. be a fun fun one to do. It anyway. And your social experiment for the escalator. The esca I should do that again. There's you, no you, escalators in Kelowna. There's a, Kelowna doesn't have escalators. Hmm. Kelowna doesn't have tall buildings. That's They can't. Oh. They, can't they just put one of those long ones down for like, lazy people not have to walk? Uh, oh, the airport has those, I believe. There you go. Um, yeah, there's no and, tall buildings here. There's no and they're for... fast, too, at the airport. Because Kelowna is a, on a big... It's just a big sandbar, basically. And you build anything too tall, it'll just fucking sink. <laughs> so you can't. That's like me standing on a beach. <laughs> it's a great proponent for urban sprawl. <laughs> That's why Kelowna, Peachland, Summerland, and Penticton used to be four different places. And now they're not. <laughs> That's how urban sprawl works. That's how that works. <laughs> it's horrible. And it looks on a map. It looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I hate it. Um, but I don't run the country yet. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, as you guys can probably tell, I'm leaning toward ending this. Um, we've been on for a good long time and it's late for Gord. I love it. I love every minute of this show. And I, even though... Sometimes I'm a little short-tempered. It's not because I don't love Gord. I just don't love 
I would never take it that way anyway. Um, but nevertheless, I love you guys. 